threats to America. I refer to the job of destroying the unity of the American people by creating minority group and racial strife. By the pogrom-driven Jewish refugees into America, Schiff was creating one ready-made minority group for that purpose. But the Jewish people as a whole, made fearful by the pogroms, could not be depended upon to create the violence necessary to destroy the unity of the American people. But right within America, there was an already made to order, although as yet a sleeping minority group, the Negroes, who could be sparked into so-called demonstrations, rioting, looting, murder, and every other type of lawlessness. All that was necessary was to incite and arouse them. Together, those two minority groups, properly maneuvered, could be used to create exactly the kind of strife in America the Illuminati would need to accomplish their objective. Thus, at the same time that Schiff and his co-conspirators were laying their plans for the entrapment of our money system, they were also perfecting plans to hit the unsuspecting American people with an explosive and terrifying racial upheaval that would tear the people into hate fractions and create chaos throughout the nation, especially on all college and university campuses, all protected by Earl Warren decisions and our so-called leaders in Washington. Of course, perfecting those plans require time and infinitely patient organizing. Now, to remove all doubts, I'll take a few moments to give you documentary proof of this racial strife plot. First of all, they had to create leaderships and organizations to draw in millions of dupes, both Jewish and Negroes, who would do the demonstrating and commit the rioting, looting, and lawlessness. So in 1909, Schiff, the Laymans, and other conspirators organized and set up the National Association for the Advancement of the Colored People, known as the NAACP. The presidents, directors, and legal counsels of the NAACP were always white men, Jews appointed by Schiff. And this is the case to this very day. Then, in 1913, the Schiff group organized the Anti-Defamation League of the B'nai B'rith, commonly known as the ADL, to serve as the Gestapo and Hatchet Man outfit for the entire great conspiracy. Today, this sinister ADL maintains over 2,000 agencies in all parts of the country, and they advise and completely control every action of the NAACP, core of the Urban League, of all the other so-called Negro civil rights organizations throughout the nation, including such leaders as Martin Lucifer King, Stokely Carmichael, Bayard Rustin, and others of that ilk.